Hi Mackenzie, today is your first story in your new domain. The title of this one is called A Father and His Son in Mesopotamia. This is the father, Wared. This is the son, Idin. Almost 4,000 years ago, a father and a son were walking together on the banks of a great river, close to what was possibly the biggest city in the world at that time, Babylon. The father, whose name was Wared, and his son, Idin, well, said to his son, Idin, See, my son, the great Euphrates River. If this river did not flow, there would be no wonderful city of Babylon, no palaces, no gardens, not even any houses. Idin said, But father, I don't understand. Did all of these things appear out of the water? What do you think, Mackenzie? Did all of those places just jump out of the water? No, probably not, right? No, laughed his father. No one just floated the palaces down here or pulled them from the water. Let me explain, Idin. They sat down on a bench overlooking the wide river which rolled before them. The first people who lived along this river realized that the land surrounding the river had rich soil for planting food, like wheat and barley for bread. These people settled along the river because the land farther away from the river was desert, and the desert is not a good place for people to grow crops or food. So these people built their homes along the river so they could grow crops or food to feed their families. See, he's planting seeds to get ready to grow food. Now let me ask you a question, Idin. Why do you think people built our city right here? Because of the water? Yes, the river water kept alive the plants that were grown for food. Now look around. And Wired waved his hand in a circle. Now we have this great and beautiful Babylon. Of course, the people that settled in Babylon weren't the only ones who had the good ideas to settle along the river. Other people came and settled up and down the river, forming towns and cities. Soon, people realized they could use the Euphrates River for more than just growing food. What else do you think they discovered they could use the river for? Wired asked his son. Aiden thought for a moment, then asked, to carry things from one city to another like we do today on boats? Correct, his father bellowed. They traveled in boats up and down the river to trade with people from other cities. The city soon traded crops or types of food, material to make clothing, and other things that they needed. The Euphrates River is not the only river that is used in this way. People also used another river called the Tigris River to grow food and trade with other cities. It's hard to think of a time when people did not use the river for growing food and traveling as we do today, Idin said. Wired replied, That it is. I have more to explain to you. You see, after a while, many people had made their homes along the Euphrates, and some had land farther back from the river. Soon, it was difficult for everyone to reach the water easily. People started wondering if there was a way to get the water from the river to other parts of the city. Soon, they discovered that there was a way. 
Aiden thought for a minute, then said, The canals? These are canals. Yes, his father continued. They dug ditches cut into the earth, which we call canals. The water flowed out of the river and through the canals to areas of the city farther from the river. The farmers could grow food even where the rivers didn't flow. So do you see that, Mackenzie? This is the river, and they dug these ditches. And so the water from the river would flow into them so they could get water to go farther away from the river. Our great King Hammurabi did the same thing. He had canals dug to move water all over the country from the two great rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. And King Hammurabi and his helpers used an ancient way to collect rainwater. When the winter rains come, the water doesn't just wash away downstream. They made waters run into reservoirs so that after the rain stopped, there would be water for drinking or watering food. Once this was done, the people could stay in one place near the river and make that place better and better until finally we had Babylon, exclaimed Idin. Our King Hammurabi must be the best king of all, father. Warad agreed. He is indeed a great king. And now I think it's time for us to head home. Okay, so Mackenzie, before I end this video, I want to show you what a reservoir is. So they said in the in the story that they would collect water, so that way after it rained, the water would land in the reservoir. Let's see, so a reservoir is kind of like a big place that's built almost like a big bowl to collect the water. Let me find you a good picture. Like this. So see, they built this huge thing so that way when it rained, all the water would collect inside and then they can use the water. Like this. See? They built this huge thing, almost looks like a pool. So, and then they could walk down the steps, and when it rained, they would collect, all the water would collect in the reservoir. 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 See, they can look like a lot of different things, but the point was to collect water. Alright, we'll see you in a bit.